Well, the Super Bowl is the biggest sporting event of the year. And ever since 9-11, of course, has posed some very specific and, and complex challenges. Well, NBC's Tom Costello got exclusive access to the men and the women who are securing this year's event. He joins us now live from Lucas Oil Stadium. Tom, good morning to you. And good morning. You know, cameras are everywhere. While the Al-Qaeda threat may be diminishing, security experts believe that the Super Bowl remains a very tempting target for any potential target, for any potential terrorist. And that is why this is a level one security event. 48 hours till game day and downtown Indy is getting crowded. By Sunday, 300,000 people will be here, 72,000 inside the stadium. The man in charge of keeping them safe inside and out, Indianapolis Chief Gary Coons. This is probably the most secure place, except for the White House, on Super Bowl Sunday. Already, every delivery truck is scanned for explosives, and TSA Viper teams are checking tour buses. While in the skies, Homeland Security choppers will help enforce a no-fly zone, keeping all aircraft away from downtown. The chopper's high-resolution cameras already beam real-time video down to the Super Bowl command center, staffed by local, state, and federal authorities. Also on the ground, November 6. Mobile detection teams sniffing for unusual radiation sources. We caught up with one team at Andrews Air Force Base as they practiced hunting for potential dirty bombs or radiation material. In the stadium on game day, hundreds of officers will mingle with the crowd wearing backpack and pager-sized radiation detectors. This is our tripwire. This is the thing that tells us there's a problem out there. Another tripwire? From vendors to parking lot attendants, 8,000 workers have been trained to spot suspicious behavior. The message to fans, if you see something, say something. We caught up with Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano on the field. We have no specific credible threat at this time uh, against the Super Bowl. So what we are protecting for and securing against is a, a speculative threat that could occur and that we don't want to occur. This city, of course, is used to big crowds. It has not only an NFL team, but an NBA team. And, of course, it also hosts the Indy 500 every year. Chief Coons tells me they know how to move quickly, people through crowds, get them out of areas very quickly. They've gotten very good at that. And, and they can evacuate all 72,000 people out of that stadium in under one hour. Back to you. That's pretty remarkable. Tom Costello, thank you so much for that reporting.